by a record company so we took all our influences and that's what made that record great and that's the same thing we've done this time is we've taken all our influences and gone no no if we want to write a hip-hop song or a song that sounds like a hip-hop song that's what we're going to do or if we're going to write an guitar, acoustic guitar based ballad that's what we're going to do because that's what feels right to us You know, like it wasn't like, oh no, we can't put that song on there because of this or that. It just went on. We actually didn't even start it as to do an album. We just started jamming. I mean, you got to remember that. That's all it was. We're just friends that were just jamming, and that was it. We didn't want to take it anywhere. We just wanted to make songs again and make music again, and that's how this come about. I think it's been a, a long, hard process, but. It's been a rewarding process and it's taken so long but we really wanted to put in uh, everything we had. We wanted to invest ourselves in this album so much and I think we've achieved that. We're playing quite free for Nick minute. <laughs> Just one more time to through. I guess for me, um, throwing out the rule book and not really giving a fuck about what we're going to write or what we're going to jam, well it was a real important thing to me. Like. Um, we just got to, we just got to play with ideas and and not have all that format and structure stuck in our head. It was going back to the process of where we started originally, which was just a bunch of guys in a room making music with a bunch of sounds and a bunch of instruments, as opposed to um, a planned sort of sort of thing. I'd bring stuff, and I'd show them stuff that I had written on my own, and what, five years ago. They hate it. They hate it. <laughs> but those songs have made the album. Because it's just funny how tastes change. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And um, You're ahead of your time, mate. I know, mate. You gotta catch up. Right, you've still got the X Factor in the other parts of the song, you know what I mean? Like in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's our um, who's a guy that sort of sessions with us also contributes from a writing point of view and he's a really talented metalhead. So the songs, you know, like he, you know, there's riffs that he's brought to the table on that song and a total just That's the one face smashing, <laughs> face melting heavy metal riffs. That I mean that would work. Yeah. We, need, we, we needed it. We were in the mood. Yeah. We were in the mood when we wrote that song. We were in the mood in the studio to write something heavy. Which way? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're just after some like sluggers. Yeah, for yeah, heat people for, out. Yeah. For um, well, yeah. that's a crowd pleaser, really. If you think about like when you're on stage and like you know how, how the crowd reacts. Yeah. It's that kind yeah. of tempo where it's just like yeah, thumping, and you know they just smash each other up. Mm, definitely. Well, it's quite a heavy riff and dark riff. I always try to pretty things up. <laughs> That's just what I do, it's a little bit heavy. It's like, Ooh. Yeah, Carl's got a really good knack of being able to bring a song back from um, the depths of hell to, <laughs> to the realm that we all live in. Opening eyes to the last, cause you're, cause, cause you're deep inside. Opening eyes to the last, lies inside the lies. With that song as well, like I was talking about that song with a friend of ours, a guy called um, Sam, who sings for a band antagonist, and he was he had very similar views to me. And we would, I, I'd asked him to feature on a song with us for the record. The thing is, we think about what that song's going to be like when we play it on stage and how the crowd's going to react. 
and we know that's definitely a good song that's gonna fuck the cunts up. Pretty much that way. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna FC you then. <laughs>